This is the uh, final stage of preparing the web round two, nine, excuse me, for, uh, for hanging. I make uh, these little tabs out of the Kadir paper, Kadi paper from Kadir. And I use a wheat paste. It has a high gluten content. It uh, sticks real well. Wallpaper used to be hung with it before it was commercialized. Dries pretty quickly, so you got to move right along, putting it on. I never make the wheat paste the same consistency. It depends on the humidity of the day. It depends how soon I'm going to be uh, using it as it does dry out fairly rapidly. I'll let that sit for a little bit. One of the last things I do with these beeswax paintings is to buff them with a piece of soft cheesecloth. And what I'm doing is shining the surface of the painting. And I like to go both ways. It's a very light touch, just brushing it and it creates the luminosity and the shine that stays with it. And it also uh, is a good thing to use when the piece is hung unframed, unglassed, just to get the dust off of it that's bound to settle on it over time. Now these pieces I display or show, I hang from bamboo rods. Which makes a really nice display. Almost like a tapestry. One person commented that it reminded them of the Buddhist prayer flags. But all cultures have hung works of art in this manner. It's nothing new. I didn't invent it. And I certainly don't remember which influence influenced me as I've looked at so much over the years before I even started using this method. These pieces weigh quite a bit and your standard framing doesn't really hold it very well. And the pieces could easily hang from the bamboo rods which slide in through here. Uh, I cut the pieces of bamboo, shave them up a bit so they're smooth on the ends. This one's a little short but it gives you the idea of how they hang. And you can see the glue is already starting to hold. And how I assure myself that it will hold 
is I take this heavy bamboo cutout from a sink from a countertop. And it is heavy. That's popped up, but I can capture it just like that. Put some intensive pressure onto it to let it know that it's going to be in a permanent state that way. And just to really make sure it's weighed down and sucking into the surface. And I leave it like that for 24 hours. I'll pick it up and uh, about an hour or so to make sure it's not sticking to this paper or to the uh, table. Clean it a little bit and then put it back in and it stays that way for 24 hours. And that's the finishing touch to web ground number nine.